that. The mold is warm, warm enough to brown a piece of paper. I'm just going to ratchet this up a little bit. So heating the the mold. This one's a little thinner than this one. We're gonna go with this one because it'll be less to fit into the middle to try and roll out. And as David knows, pulling big chunks of copper through molds or mills is a son of a gun. Yes, yes. Yes. So heating this up to the point, it's, it's gonna take a couple three minutes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. filming something. Yep. Okay, maybe you want to cut back a little later. Okay. Unless I just jump over here. And while that is soaking in some heat, it's also good to preheat the crucible as well. As well as the hole that you're pouring out of. So that way this is warm as well as the ingot mold. So when you do get a chance to pour your metal, you set the ring on the handle so far away from the edge so it's got a place to lock onto. Got that? Mm -hmm. So then you heat up and when you're pouring you heat your metal and then the spout as well so nothing freezes or cools on the way out so everything is warm between the mold and the crucible and you keep heating and it should pour one, two, three. Just that quickly. That quickly. If you take too much time it's going to get cold, and you have big chunks of stuff that you have to throw in the garbage. Ugh. Yes. Or remelt, or maybe give to a friend as a, <laughs> as a really bad gift. So. Mm -hmm. More! And whatever you do, when this gets warm enough where you can put a piece of paper on the top and you can see the paper getting brown uh, from the heat of the metal, that will be just about enough heat in the mold here. And what you do then is you drop the, uh, the oxygen so the flame gets... Oops. I'm sorry, you'll drop the oxygen so it leaves carbon all over the inside of the mold. See how that worked out? Oh, okay. So when the molten liquid material goes into the mold, it does not stick to the, the metal sides. So. And somebody also told me that when you have carbon in a mold like that, you just do that on the top, and when all that carbon burns away, the black stuff, then the mold is hot enough. So, I don't know what that means. That goes for annealing on some things. Like for gold, for instance, when all the carbon burns away, the gold is annealed and it's ready and it's the right temperature. Without looking for a color, you just know that the carbon is burnt away. So, there it is. I don't know how we're standing here. I got a piece of paper. Let me see, I got a phone number from a girl today. Maybe I'll just set that on there and see if that works out. It might not be warm enough. We're going to find out how to flip it over so the name can remain a secret. Is she a... Nope, not yet. Told you it was going to be boring. It's going to get more boring yet when the metal gets so liquid hot. We're like, oh, this is so boring. Why am I even doing this? Oh, how boring can this be? You know how boring this is? You should try it. Just see how boring it is. No, really, try it. Check it 
now. Yep. There's brown areas on the paper. Okay. So, now, while that's stewing, drop that oxygen and coat the mold or smoke the mold is what they call that. Okay, now heating up. The crucible once again. Grab some of this copper. Oh. Keep the flame moving. The tip of the blue flame is the hottest part of the flame. So just make sure. And I have just over four ounces. About four and a quarter ounces almost. Or four and um, You don't splash the metal out on your hand because it'll leave an owie. I think that might qualify as more than just an owie. With me, it would be a tantrum and a crying.